found your partner, do -si do I'm gonna tell the whole story. So we're out here trying to buy a car, right? I turn around and Andrew, Andrew's over here telling this guy, yeah, so the sunroof has these nipples that you milk to get all the debris out. The guy's like, fuck it, just take the car, dude, $400. <laughs> You know how many bad boys you can fit in this? Two. Yeah. Boy, this thing looks good at night. <laughs> yeah, so if you wonder why we got jackets on all of a sudden, it's cold. It's like 70 degrees. Yeah, it's pretty nippy. <laughs> oh, woo -hoo. I'm not a crook's body. Get out of here. Anyways, this thing don't run. That's it. Yeah, it doesn't run. Yeah. So in the engine bay, there's an engine. <laughs> Are you drunk? Yeah. I never owned a piece of shit like this. I mean, I've owned plenty of pieces of shit, but... Not like this. Never this bad. I don't know what he did with his hands, but they were magical, apparently. His wife must be the happiest lady alive. <clears throat> yep. Here's the problem. Oh, there's the actual problem. I don't know how this works. Oh, you gotta really pull that motherfucker. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> it revs it right off. <laughs> I don't know how, what he was doing actually, to be honest with you. I think it was. We used to do this with a butter knife. See, here's the thing. My hand, by the time I get it in there, is so fat that it pushes the hood up and grabs the latch before I can... You want me yeah, to push yeah. down on the hood? You got a... Oh, yeah. You got a butter knife? Let me get one of those. Anyways, <clears throat> the title of this video should be How I Got Fucked Out of $400. I mean, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. You know we can party it out. I'm going to love it till the day I die. <laughs> Which will be tomorrow if this thing runs. Yeah. This is the part where I open the hood while he's inside. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. Because <laughs> I can give you a real butter knife or a plastic one. Oh wait, maybe not pull it. Oh, is that it? Oh. <gasps> okay, I figured it out. <laughs> no butter knife needed. Oh man, we don't have vice oh. grips. Well, wait, yeah, I, I do. do. I just don't have okay. This thing's a piece of shit. I like it. Did you tell them what we're doing under here? No. I like how it's blown so bad. <laughs> it's just leaking out. She's leaking. She's soaking wet. <laughs> That's gonna cut someone's head off when it falls. Oh, so yeah, what are we doing again? All right, folks. With the rising gas prices, we had to get us something fuel efficient. What we got here is a 1.9 liter Jetta diesel engine. Turbo. Turbskis. Just one. one. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like, yeah, this here mechanical timey thing with jiggers. It I'm adjusts like, the cams. That's I'm, what it does. I'm like, that looks a whole lot like a vacuum pump. If I didn't know anything, that's what it looks like. So we looked it up. That's exactly what it is. That has nothing to do with anything. Have it's you ever used a Volkswagen key? Yeah, switchblade. <laughs> we can teach the key to not do that. Well, it also is not letting me in. I think the door handle broke. Oh no! Yeah, the door handle broke. No. Huh? No. I swear. I don't know how to do this. Hit the unlock button instead of the lock button. Shut your horse mouth. <laughs> I swear, unless this is the lock button. Oh, that's the lock button. Do it. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. You film me and I'll do it. All right. I'll open it. It's a Volkswagen thing. Do I have to turn around so you can do the secret handshake with the Volkswagen? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a whole lot of darkness. Oh God, it's all black. Okay. Yeah, that's basically what we got it to do. We did spray some ether in it. That didn't work. So basically, uh, this thing started off at $1,000. And 
I brought the thousand dollar car guy with me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, talked him down to 600. Then, without haggling, uh, I didn't talk him down and he said 500. And then Andrew was going on with some ridiculous story with the sunroof and how you gotta play with the nipples to drain the thing when it gets clogged up. And he, the guy's just like, dude, $400, I'll pay my friend $100 just so you leave. Yep. And yeah, and then he gave us a, a stack of receipts that has like 20 grand worth of money that they dumped into it and they still couldn't get it running. So Andrew's like, you know what? He pulls me aside, all Guido-like. So Andrew pulls me aside, he's like, hey, let's park this bitch out. And I'm like, all right, but if we can get it running in the process, I'll steal the engine, I'll stick it in something else. And then we'll have more problems than we started with. Yep. So here we are. So we did look up a couple things. One was the cat could be clogged, which mm, we'll see. Anyways, if we cut the cat off, there's like a hundred bucks we get back for the car anyways. So that's gonna be the first step, whether it's bad or not. Yeah, the first step, <laughs> cut the cat off. <laughs> the second step is this little thing that, it's a valve that shuts the car off. Oh, it doesn't, it's brand new. Yeah, I'm sure with 20 grand you can buy just a brand new Jetta. <laughs> True. I said it right. It Try is a Jetta. Tram. <laughs> Look at this thing, dude. How are we going to part this out? Like, oh, oh, God. Anyway. We're going to cut the cat off. Yep. And then it still might not fire up. Oh, yeah. Also, there's a fuck ton of blow-by. Oh, a ridiculous amount. And no oil. Tram. <laughs> There's like a kill switch for when it's low on oil and we could just fill it up with oil. <laughs> what kind of oil does it take? I, I don't know, but I have oil. I got lots I of mean, oils. so also, we were looking, I, I know, into the darkness. Oh gosh. I reached into my truck. 1030, which isn't diesel oil, but... It's gotta be better than no oil. It is better than no oil. We're about to ruin this motor. <laughs> Should we put oil in it, then try and start it? Absolutely. The guy said, oh, it just lost power and locked up. No, he no, didn't, he didn't say, say it that. locked up. <laughs> you know, oh, no, no, but we did get there, and we're like... <laughs> what? <laughs> Andrew, all confused. <laughs> we get there, and the guy pulls the cover off. He's like, look, a timing belt. <laughs> Andrew, confused. No, so, <laughs> so, you know, we show up. He starts to go over things. He's like, yeah, I don't know a whole lot about diesels. I know all sorts of things about gas engines, but nothing about diesels. Oh, so obviously this timing chain cover, that's supposed to be there. The belt, yeah. It pulls it off, it's like, see the belt's there. <laughs> okay, that's something a normal person would say. Like timing belts, we got them. <laughs> Look, he still has a belt. Did uh, all the oil just come out the bottom? He can't see. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> Pull the dipstick and watch the blow by. No, I'd rather not, but let's do it. I don't know if they can see it though. Yeah, it's so bad you can see it in the camera. Whew, smells straight like fuel too. That's because there's no rings in it anymore. Eh, I've never rebuilt a diesel. So wait, leave a comment <clears throat> if you know about these. And how we're gonna destroy <laughs> Wait, it. do you gap the rings when you get the diesel like you do with the gas? Probably. But how much? Somebody tell us because we're gonna f this thing up more than it already is and waste a bunch of money doing it if we don't do it right, yeah. so. Also, so the reason we're doing the cats is, be is it raining? No, they're bugs, oh. okay. So the reason we're doing the cats is because there's a chance it's so clogged up, it's building pressure back into the system and pressurizing the crankcase. So if the air can't get out, it's not gonna run, period. So besides cutting it off and getting the money, it might fix the problem. It's a Either long way, time. it's a win-win for me. Yeah. It's either it's... gonna sound like a big diesel truck yeah. <laughs> and run, or I make a hundred dollars on a cat, maybe, yeah. give or take, twenty bucks. All right, let's cut the cat off. All right, I was having way too much fun. It's all dark. It was all dark. 
This may be the best video we've ever made. <laughs> All right. That's the fastest I've ever seen an exhaust removed. <laughs> it was it was pretty goddamn rusty, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> This is where you find out, like, the diesel cats don't even have platinum in them. <laughs> <laughs> especially, especially not the German ones. You notice I got safety glasses on for once, folks. That's how much I trust them Germans. <laughs> let, let, let go my ego, motherfucker. Ow, motherfucker. <laughs> it sounds pretty heavy. <laughs> that bitch burns the shit out Yeah, let's turn on the old phone light. Catch my grass on fire. How about that? See, so yeah, this side was just like fell apart. Ooh, that bitch nice. Yeah, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Honeycomb big? Wait, can you see through it? No. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Might be on. Wait, shine it through again one more time? Barely. Yeah. But yeah, there's like no light. Awesome. All right, let's lower this turd bucket down and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. What if we just fired up? I mean, it's happened before. Yeah. Watch the camera. Yeah. I almost dropped it on the way out. I didn't know it was there. Go ahead and move this. Yeah. Well, I was using it to hold the camera, but whatever. <laughs> Hey, imagine, we're gonna get hurt with this thing. Imagine walking through a field of snakes made of sawzall blades. <laughs> imagine walking through a field of sawzall blades made of snakes. Thanks for this. I'm a bad good dude. Thanks, Daryl. Forever stuck in my head. So, how much fuel do you think is in these cylinders now? <laughs> I don't know, because it is cold tonight, right? 70? Like try. The low plug light was on and it went out. Okay, try it. Which way is this supposed to go? I thought out was uh, open. Should I spray some shit in there? You can also go full throttle if you want. Yeah, try it. Do you want to throw the charger on it? Because she does sound a little weak. I don't know how to take this apart without breaking it. Literally everything I touch. What is this? Oh, you didn't see the fuse panel yet either. Oh no. I found the screw that holds something. Now it's on the floorboard. Okay. Next to that broken rocker. That's a big ass battery. I guess because it's diesel. Damn. 850. This thing also has 323,000 miles on it. Why is there like a valve cover this wide with a cam cover? Yeah, turn that thing to freaking as high up as it goes. 12 volt, 6 amps. 6 amps? We're going to be here all night. That's oh, all what? I got, man. Now what? <laughs> yes, we wait. We should have did this and then ate. That's a good point. Okay. So what else did we find out that we were reading? About. So it smells like fuel. Mm-hmm. So then... There's that. So, there's no ignition. It's just compression. So it's one less thing to worry about. Well, the thing is... Except, out of the two things that we need, it's only got fuel and no compression. Yeah, or it wouldn't be blowing fucking ton of smoke out there. Well, it's got enough compression to have crankcase pressure. <laughs> what if we took the air compressor pressurized I'm just messing with you don't do this no <laughs> pressurize the crankcase and then try to start it hmm. it's like boosting it yeah from the bottom up <laughs> all the hate mail <laughs> thank you Jesus for the hate mail that's boosting our YouTube channel <laughs> if you don't leave that in I'm like, is it filming <laughs> and now a quick word from our sponsor <laughs> Picture this, I'm a bag of dudes, put it to your lid. 
That's all I know of the whole song. Yeah, <laughs> so. It is catchy. <laughs> well, there's that. Andrew learned that diesels don't have vacuum. Yep. They need a vacuum pump. Yep. Oh, look at all the oil in the coolant bottle, and we'll see if it has a blown head gasket. You're assuming there's coolant in the bottle. You ever open these when it's hot? It fills itself imagine. up. Huh. I have good news and bad news. There's nothing in there. Okay, what was the good news? I'm sorry, there's just bad news. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, there's good news. The good news is... We can part this thing out. It's got a full cat. Actually, do you know how much... <laughs> These are worth. Probably like I can make. I bet you they're a hundred bucks. I can make one out of aluminum for cheaper. Yep. Picture this. <laughs> There's coolant in it. It's the wrong coolant. Oh. What color is it? Green. Yeah. It's supposed to be red. What if we had a clogged air filter? We just started taking it. <laughs> yeah. We don't need an air filter. This is the worst episode we've ever made. <laughs> but we did make it. We got that clickbait. Oh wait, was I supposed to do two hands? You've seen the Volkswagen handshake, right? No. Is it like... You put your zipper down. <laughs> no, that's a real handshake. Yeah. And you put your hand through it and shake it. <laughs> I've also seen it done as a three-way. Three it ain't gay if it's in a three-way. If it's all dudes, it is. We're curious if it may have jumped timing. So we're just going to spin it over again real quick. Or see if the belt's actually spinning. Yeah, it's working. Well, what do you, what you think, Willis? Well, probably call it for right now. Yeah, is that the end of this video? No, I hope not. Is that a YouTube video? That's how all the cool kids do it, right? Answer no questions. <laughs>